I get a lot of questions about the bound reference. So here it is, the important things you need to know. Hi, I'm Alex, I'm the creator of massmethods.com.au and today we're gonna to talk about the bound reference. Now, you should probably check out what the VCAA has to say about it, but essentially what it is, is an A4 sized paged booklet, which has been bound so that none of the pages can be removed. So this could be a textbook, a notebook, a bunch of pages which have been bound together, a bunch of pages which have just been stapled together. Anything, just as long as you can't remove the pages from it. Now, I wouldn't recommend using a textbook or any other reference material. I'd highly recommend making it yourself. And the reason for this is it's actually really good revision to go through all of your textbook and all your notes and get a good overview of what the subject is about. And also, when you're in the exam, because you've created it yourself, it's much easier to find things. Now the key thing to getting the best marks in maths methods is practice, especially practice from previous year's exams and SACs. You don't want to be spending all your time creating a beautiful, colorful, bound reference which has unicorns on it and this sort of thing, but you want to focus mainly on practice questions. Now, you want to have your bound reference with you while you're doing practice questions. One, it means that you get more familiar with the reference, and two, if you find something that you come across which you think you might want to add, it's a really good time to go in there and add it then. The other important thing is to not put things in it that you haven't used before. Number one, if you just copy and paste something from a textbook, it could have errors in it, and I've never seen a textbook which doesn't have errors in it. You won't know until you've actually used it. And two, because you haven't created it yourself, it's gonna take you a while to get yourself oriented to what they're actually talking about. So if you put it in yourself and make it a lot more simple, it will be easier to refer to. Speaking of easier to refer to, you probably wanna chuck in things like making it color coded, a contents page, even snipping some of the pages so it's easier to refer to. Or you could even just put in dividers or something like that. Anything to make it easier to go to the selected topic that you are looking for. And the final thing is to chuck in examples. Examples are so important, especially ones from previous year's exams. Anything that you feel as if you've really struggled in, you can put that into your bound reference and make sure you go through it step by step so that you don't get confused when you're looking at it and you can see all the working out nice and easily. The other type of questions to put in there are questions which students have struggled in in previous year's exams. And you can find which ones these are by looking at the examiner's reports. Because what tends to happen is if a student haven't done very well in the previous year, they get real tricky and they chuck very similar questions in future exams as well. So be on the lookout for that. That's it, that's the basics about the bound reference. I hope it's been helpful. If you haven't subscribed already, become a member of mathsmethods.com.au by subscribing to our free ebook. And I send out free weekly lessons as well to help you stay on top of methods. And if you want more videos like this, hit subscribe and you'll be the first to know. If you've got any questions, put them down in the comments below. Hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next VCE Maths Methods video.